to everyone. So this is just shown here. So today we're going to cover the market analysis for the upcoming week, which is the 18th of January, okay, until the 22 of January. So for the upcoming months, okay, uh, uh, sorry, upcoming weeks, there's a lot of uh, fundamental news that going to impact the market, okay. So most of the news that going to impact is dollar and then more major uh, basically all the uh, major currency will be affected so when you trade okay please look out there's uh, quite a lot of news in the coming weeks okay so please take care your risk control level okay so without further ado let's like get started uh, continue for the market analysis so the first we're going to analyze is Aussie dollar, yes, Aussie dollar. All the Aussie pair we're going to cover first. So for the Aussie pair, okay, we can see that very clear, the market is in a very clear uptrend, okay, with no doubt, market is in a very clear uptrend. So basically, I'm seeing that this Aussie dollar is still having a buyer eyesight, okay. So I am going to place my asset somewhere here, okay, because the buyer are still in control. I haven't seen any sign that the buyer mentioned that they have lost their trade. So basically, I'm still seeing for upside exposure. So this is based on daily time frame. So all the pair we're going to just look into daily time frame for a longer trade. So if I tomorrow, okay, tomorrow Monday, Monday 18 of January, I'm going to see if the market able to maintain above this level. So the buy is still. Can, we can see the buy still uh, able to trade. Lah. So if the market on the uh, 18 January 2021, market close above, then we can see a downside exposure. Okay, so this is all C dollar. The next we're going to see all C yen. Okay, so basically all C yen is very clear. Uh, also very clear upside exposure. But just the thing that I'm going to see some drop first be before it advances. Okay? I'm going to see some drop first before before the advance because we can see that buy is showing that uh, there's no more force to push the market up so basically when you see something like this usually the market will trace first and look for a uh, lower price to attract more buyer and bring the price high again okay this is what we use to call as market behavior okay so for all the new learn okay Aussie dollar very clear upside exposure I will only wait for the market to retrace to this level and I'm going to only wait a banker side then I can put my entry there because I don't know if let's say when the market come back here I must I just went into it okay immediately went into it so I don't know where should I place my stop loss okay so the next would be OC Swiss franc okay oh oh OC Swiss franc okay so let's see on daily chart okay daily very clear that still upside exposure okay still very clear as you can see this level is a very good level for us to place the stop loss level okay using here so for this OC dollar uh, or see system we can still see upside exposure by using a very little stop loss level okay the next will be new zealand cat okay new zealand cat we can see okay basically the things has happened. The market has officially changed to downtrend. So the first downtrend, the level that I'm going to observe is here. Because this level, there's still potential for market to bounce up again. Before it bounce up, okay, before it, it has any sign of bouncing up. So I still seeing that any retrace high, short, or any retrace short, short to this level first. And then I'm going to observe over this level. Okay, very clear change down already so the next will be in new zealand dollar so let's see new zealand dollar so new zealand dollar also very clear as you can see that very clear shoulder and shoulder form it break so retest then i can go for a sell so very clear new zealand dollar very clear okay the next will be new zealand chf so new zealand chf also very clear okay for this i'm going to see upside exposure so as we can see that higher high higher low so around somewhere around here i go for buy and my asset going to place somewhere around here okay so next we will use in yen okay use in yen okay new zealand yen yes this will be a very good level to buy 
but I need to see that uh, on the Monday market, make sure the market can sustain above this level. If Monday cannot sustain above this level, then we can see a downside exposure. Okay, the next we're going to see is New Zealand, eh, sorry, all the uh, GPP pair. Okay, so the GBB, the first GB is GB USD. Hmm, this level seems that seller very strong. Okay, but for the GPP USD in day one, right, we can see the overall trend is still up. Okay, so when I let's say the market, I will wait for market to retreat to somewhere around here, then I go for my buy trade and then my SL using somewhere around here. Okay, so this is day one, I clear. So I, if we wanted to buy, let's say you cannot wait, okay, you cannot wait, you just wanted to buy. If you buy your asset also using somewhere around here, okay. Okay, next will be GBOC. Okay, so basically GBOC, hmm, based on this trend, really clear is downtrend. So I'm going to see somewhere around here and I wait for my confirmation to have my short trade. Okay. If there's no uh, confirmation, there's a potential for market to retrace up to this level and drop again. Next to be GBB CHF. Okay, very clear range market for this. So around here, okay, let's say you wanted to sell any price. So make sure you use this high to place your SL. Okay, this is quite choppy. I'm not going to talk about it for this GB cat. Okay, because it's consumed a lot of time on expanding just that chart. Okay, for though uh for the next will be GBP uh GB yen. Okay, so GB yen I see something like short. Okay, short to this level first. Okay, short to this level. I'm going to see the market drop to this level first. Hmm. Mm, this is quite a good short trade eh, for here. Around here will be a very good short trade. So maybe you can look into it. And then understand your risk and knowing where should you place your SL. <coughs> of course, for my members, you definitely know where you should place all the SL. Okay, the next will be uh, Euro CAC. So basically, Euro is still very clear. If you even though you look into day one, right? The higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. This higher low is been break. So market showing downside already. So I'm expecting that next week, okay, this is our key line, right? So I will be expecting retreat to somewhere around here. Then we can see a downside exposure. Okay, so very high potential that market wanted to drop to this level because Without any correction, the market just increased like rocket. So this is what we call you used to say abnormal, abnormal situation. Okay. So okay. So for this, oh very very good trade. Okay. So for Euro GPP, is a very good trade. Lah. Why I say like that? Even though if let's say you buy here, it's a high risk, but the risk are you actually can maintain to very very low. Why? Because as you can see. Most of the time, the market reach here, it bounce up, it bounce up, it bounce up, it bounce up. So there's a potential of here also, bounce up also. So even though, let's say you buy the market here as well, but the, your, your SL is very really close, very really, really little only. So still affordable risk, okay? This is considered affordable risk. So I advise to take this, but make sure under your control. Next to be all Euro or C. Okay, Euro OC, okay, basically the market have heading to the uh, south. 
Okay, so let's look into the previous data. Okay, I'm going to see on weekly chart. Okay, weekly, yes. Here, I place my key line over here. Okay, so I look into daily chart. Okay, so daily, very clear. I'm going to sell here and until the market reach my weekly key line level. Okay, very clear that all this we really trip with, with no doubt. The only doubt is just can you wait or not? Can you wait for the market to retreat to this price and you short? When you short, can you wait for the market to drop? This is the most important thing that most people can't do. Okay, so basically for this euro situation, basically market already changed to downtrend very in a very early stage. As you can see, higher high, higher low, higher high. So it break, it become a lower low, and then come back to here. This is so we, we call it as just a higher, no higher high or anything high. And then based on this, we know that market is basically just come back to retreat and market wanted to drop. So the first level of, of course will be here first. So for this, I got we I not advise you to immediately take the trade up. Wait for any retracement first. Okay. <coughs> okay. The next will be Euro New Zealand. Okay, Euro New Zealand also okay. This price very nice. Okay, this price very nice. So I will just short here. Okay. So the first uh pair that we can just uh really take. Very fast entry is uh, Euro New Zealand, but I personally not favor in this because the risk reward is not uh, in a good, good, good sign. Okay, so the next will be this. Okay, this will be a good key level, but this is a very strong buyer zone. Okay, what you guys see? So there's a potential of bouncing up. Okay, there's a potential of bouncing up. So what you should do if you wanted to buy, make sure you look into lower time frame, see if there any setup or not. So in this situation, I will basically look into lower time frame to see any setup. So until the moment now, there's no setup yet. So seller is still in the control. So we don't rush. Okay, try not to rush. The next will be Euro Yen. Okay, Euro Yen. So Euro Yen basically uh you can see still see downside lah. okay only retracement you can see downside so sure for euro yen very clear okay go okay go for go the tips for go okay so last week one of my members asked me that is this set up so i i i was expecting this is a setup but lately market just break below oh uh, it, because it make a new setup again so market change so basically market now there's no setup of changing upside yet so for gold is still in a seller eye side okay gold is still in the seller eye side so any high price i will be just looking to sell position okay with any high price lah. okay so the next will be others and including usd pair Okay, so USD yen. Okay, USD yen. Okay, basically for all the USD upcoming week. Okay, USD. I personally seeing upside exposure, seeing that USD is going to be strengthened. Okay, USD is going to be strengthened. So basically, all the correlated pair with USD will going to drop. Okay, so we can see that. This is a lower low, lower low, lower low. This lower high market broke, retest. So USD yen, just go for buy, guys. Okay, USD yen, go for buy. Very clear, very good price now. Okay, so you, and then you can see the FL is very less on it. So this is a very good trade. So, so USD cat, uh, yes. This will be a very good key level to have a short trade. Okay, but I personally think that huge potential break until this level, then a better sell will be imposed. 
Okay. Next will be USD CHF. Okay, USD CHF. Uh, so this is a very important area. If the market able to close above, then we can see an uptight exposure until this level. Okay. So basically, there's a huge potential for market to break. Why? Because next week, 20th is Biden officially become the US president. So because due to the previous data telling us that oh, Biden wanted to uh, launch a lot of uh, policy like increase taxes. So most of the spectacular investor will be afraid and then they get out from US. But another reason of USD dollar drop is because of there's no well, uh, no president yet. So the economy and the country is in in a very uncertain period. So investor afraid. So dollar keep on dropping. But the next Wednesday, there's a new president coming up. So there will be a certain uh, stimulate to the dollar. Okay. So USD session, we can see upside exposure. CAD, CHF also, we can see upside exposure. Okay, upside exposure. As you can see, the channel been broke. So we can see upside exposure. So I am seeing that this is my key line level to have my buy trade. So when the market come back to here, then I can see some buy trade. Okay, CADN. Okay, so this level, okay. But I think that this level uh, is quite risky to sell okay, because the trend is still up. So I rather the market drop a little bit more and I can see outside exposure for CADN. Okay, CHF yen, okay, very clear. So there's still a room to drop until this level. It's like close to a 50 pips up. Okay, so there's a, another 50 pips to drop to here. And then when the market comes to here, we can observe, okay, start to observe. Is there any setup? Bring the market up again. Now. If there's no setup, you can see downside exposure. Okay, so this is the market analysis for the upcoming week, which is for the 18th of January 2021 until the 23rd, uh, 22 January 2021. So if you are wanted to inquire more about our classes, so you can how you can uh, play around with price action knowledge, so you are welcome to visit our website or uh, call our hotline 018 for more inquiry. Okay, thank you and safe trip.